Lord C. Oh, deed of Lord C. Down the street, the same thing. Kids finding empty MK CD cases under park swings. Their parents yelling not to touch it. But the fiends want more, so here's that carnage, nigga. Fuck it. We got that shit. 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 Contraband, contraband. All right, people, what it is, it is E's again. E's chilling on the screen of Ghost Recon Future Soldier, the beta anyway. And this time I'm thinking about um, showing you guys what the characters look like. I'm getting a little bit more in depth with the whole custom weapon classes and the ridiculousness of what it is. It's just ridiculous and I love it. If you're a person that loves details, if you're a person that loves intricate sh stuff <laughs> if you're a person that loves you know um perfection or if you're a perfectionist basically and you like little things like that you will love this if you're ocd you will love this you're just gonna love this if you're a person that um it, you know just wants to get in and get out you can deal with it too um it's just one of those things man i mean let me, let me show you the three classes first scout this is usually a sniper but i changed with his uh PP2000 with one class and the uh, MP7 on the other class. And oh yeah, another thing, when you have two different, I shouldn't say classes, factions. When you have a different faction, you get totally different weapons. They'll be similar, but they'll be totally different. Uh, engineer, uh, for this guy, even though I have a, the, the both shotguns are different. The engineer is the only one with a shotgun. The scout is the only one that can get uh, the machine pistols and the, um, and the snipers. Uh, engineer, he gets the submachine guns and the shotguns, and the rifleman gets the AR assault rifles and the LMG uh, light machine guns. Let me jump you into one of my favorites. My first that I was picking is the rifleman. I don't know why he's in that stance. I think it's a glitch um, for him to be standing like that. He's supposed to be holding a gun different. It doesn't matter. But let me show you my progression. It starts from the bottom, and in in the demo, the the beta, I should say, beta, I should say. Uh, you, you go up and progress. As I got to level 4, they give you a choice. Do you want to unlock the stun gun that goes underneath the barrel? Or do you want the smoke launcher? I chose the smoke launcher this time. I reset it at one, at one point um, because I wanted to see what the hell it meant to do that. It asked me a question and I didn't know what it meant. Lo and behold, it meant to um, reset everything. Uh, I, I went all the way up top. As you can see, you get the flash bulb, um, EMP launcher, ammo box, type 95, AN-94. But look at this. I press Y. Different faction, different guns. In case you didn't believe me, that's just what it does. Didn't mean to rhyme, but whatever. It goes all the way up to level 50. In this um, demo, you get incendiary ammo, ridiculous. You get a crazy optic that looks through thin walls. Uh, you'll get different face masks to unlock. Uh, not really that important to get a face mask, but whatever. As you can see, there's a little camera right there um, on the left side now. Now it's on the right. Um, it basically works like a UAV, but um, a standalone UAV, kind of like a um, in Call of Duty, the motion sensor. When you throw the little motion sensor on the ground, it basically works the same way. Um, you can pick it up as well. Uh, but let's jump you into the. Let's look at the appearance real quick, just so you see. It, nothing serious. Uh, maybe in the full game they'll let you um, mess with you know the way the whole bodysuit looks, you know, a little separately. Nothing, nothing's too serious. Loadout. Um, let's jump to equipment since I was already talking about that camera. As this class, I'll get a camera, a med kit, and an ammo box. That med kit is really good. I have that unlocked from my engineer. Um, the ammo box is kind of similar to. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar to. Um, what's the name of that game? Battlefields. So you know this game. It's a third-person game. The way it it is. Let me in fact. Let me show you what it is real quick. In case you haven't seen any of my other videos. Or the other video that I have. You know, it's third person. You press A. Think about it like Gears of Run. You press A, you roadie run. A gets you in the cover. The only different thing is this I, that I love right here. Um, you can be at a nice distance. I think the, the complete distance is probably, I don't know, maybe 50 yards. But if I hold A, it'll bring me straight there. And then he'll get into cover. If you have to jump over a wall to get to another cover, he'll do it. If he has to jump off a ledge, if he has to climb up a ladder, he'll do it. You know, it's pretty sick. But um, let's jump you back to this part before I get too deep into the firing range. Uh, let's jump to the grenades. 
this guy, he'll get a frag grenade, he'll get a smoke grenade, an EMP grenade that basically disables your HUD. If you don't know what a HUD is, it's a heads-up display that you see if you're in the racing car games that you know what a HUD is. Um, incendiary grenades, of course, it's a fire grenade. That I don't get until I get to level 28. Can't wait to start lighting people on fire. Um, and also, let's jump to the secondary weapon, which right now I have equipped as my stun gun. If you've seen um, the little intro video, which I'm pretty sure you did, it's what I um, hit the guy with in the beginning before I shot the second guy. He, you just you can actually stun people now um, with a stun gun and incapacitate them. And you can actually shoot people and incapacitate them and hack their body and um, hack their data off their body and see the whole team for about maybe a minute to see exactly where they are on the map. It's pretty sick, pretty cool. But you have to remember after you stun somebody, you have to kill them because they'll just get up from off the ground. Um, this is the the main pistol that I'm messing with right now on this faction. I put a little camo on it just so, you know, it stands out a little bit. The little flash bulb, this basically blinds people. Another thing too, flash grenades, and I believe the flash bulb works just like the flash grenade, really stuns people and will keep your screen white for at least, at least 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, your screen is completely white. It works really good, this little um, pistol right here. Matter of fact, let's mess with it. And you, as you can see, I don't even have that weapon unlocked, and I can mess with it. It is not fully automatic. I'm just pressing it faster. I mean, it, it seems alright. You know, it's hard to kind of tell some of these pistols apart. There's the little iron sight. You're just clicking the right thumbstick. You can also click the left thumbstick, and you switch from either third-person side if you're, you know, a lefty or a righty, I guess. Sometimes you might want to come around a corner, and you might want to have to look on that side. It's really handy to have. Definitely a nice original thing. Gears of War should have did something like that. That would have been sick. But um, you know, they they borrowed from other people, but they added their own little little pieces, bits and pieces. You know what I mean? That's what you gotta do. That's what makes you prosper. But let me jump into this gun right here because I have it unlocked. I'm able to go into it. As you can see, this is pretty sick. They show you every little bit and piece of the gun that, that you can pull apart from it. I could jump into my optic uh, if I wanted to with this pistol. I can put this little scope on it. A uh, little magnifying scope, nothing serious. I wouldn't really want it on there unless I was really a pistol head as far as it came to these games. Uh, you can mess with it at the firing. Just, as you can see, I don't have it unlocked, but as long as I'm over it, you can just press start. Go to the firing range, and there's my little sight. So you can test out guns to, uh, to the complete degree before you actually buy them. That's a good thing. I really like that. Um, let's jump back to... Let's jump back to primary weapon this right here is my ACR that I have customized it is pretty sick I love it so far I put my what is that um I forgot the name of that clip uh, the magazines dual mag of course if you remember Call of Duty they have dual mags uh, this crazy drum on here look at this this looks ridiculous let's test this out real quick <laughs> you know, let's test this out. Just see how much bullets will come out. Look at this. This is ridiculous. You put that on a freaking assault rifle. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm not gonna buy that yet. Um, I have to really love that gun to get that. I probably put it on the LMG when I get the chance. But then you'll get some that has um FMJ ammunition on it, which is a little bit more deadly. Um, let's go back. I also attached this. I believe this is on the side rail. Yeah, it is on the side rail. I put the little visual aid on the side. Increases control by providing a visual aid while aiming. Uh, let's jump in there. I didn't notice it last time. Yeah, the little red dot that you'll see. Nice little visual aid. You know, you can put a visual aid, I believe, on any gun in this game. It's pretty sick. Shotguns, pistols. Um, this one is a little bit more of a visual aid. You won't be able to see it if I go to the firing range, but I believe it, um, once you have a scope or a red dot sight on your gun with this, I believe it, um, like it says level one intel, I believe that you'll be able to, like, pinpoint them out better. I really don't know if I, if I knew, I'd definitely show you. But, um, another thing I like is, uh, besides disassembling and assembling, is if I press X, it goes completely random with what I have unlocked on the gun pretty sick as, as well as down to the paint the way the gun will look painted you know it just throws on whatever i want um there's also an optimize button but i don't think it really works that well you basically press the directional pad and it'll go down to what i want just i'm um, selecting maneuverability um right now i'm selecting range i really can't tell the difference i don't know 
um, power. It, it looks the same to me. I don't think they have that down packed yet. Um, maybe by the time they, um, you know, release the, uh, the, the actual retail version, they'll have this down packed to, um, to really work. But that's a nice little feature, a nice little control, a nice little option to have if you just want to get in and get out. You know what I mean? You're not really that deep into the whole thing. Like I said, this is, has something for the people that want to be deep. And if you don't want to be deep in what you like to unlock a bunch of stuff, and you just want to get in there and you say, hey, you know what, I want something for range. I have all these scopes unlocked. I have all this stuff unlocked. Let me just press range real quick. And then, then I can just get in and play the game. Or you can, when you're in the middle of the game, you can do this. And no, I'm not going to save the modifications. But um, in when you're in the middle, of, in between games, you get about a minute to um choose between um what map you want to um fight in or the challenges you want to pick. And also, um the you can also mess with the gun in this whole selection right here but you only get about a minute to mess with it so if you want to just get in and get out and say you know what i don't know what i want on my gun yet but i just want it for range just do that real quick you might have 10 seconds left back out save it and you're good to go you know they really are thinking about thinking about you know i guess on a different level i should say they're thinking on a different level of customization and and um act easy access at the same time because if it was just that I had to be deep and I had to do this and I had to do that, it wouldn't be as pleasing and as, you know, attractive. But they give you different options. I really love it for that. Um, it's just one of them things. I mean, I don't want to get too deep into it. That's just like a nice little run through. I probably talked for too long already. How long has it been? It's been about 12 minutes so far, almost. But if you stuck through it, if you sat in there and you listened to me run my mouth and just ramble on if you're one of the first that needs a beta code for xbox 360 then here it is right here on the screen i'm giving it to you right here an xbox 360 on um, beta code these are hard to come by um playstation 3 isn't that bad i probably put that up in there too maybe in the uh in the, in the description they're very easy they're still there but that link that i gave you guys before it's kind of tapped out i'm gonna say thanks again to the people that are on there and um you know helping people out by giving out their codes you know they didn't have to give out the codes but they're doing it anyway i had that extra code for um for uh what did i do i bought the game well i didn't buy the game but i pre-ordered it so they gave me four extra beta codes uh the rest of them codes that i had i had to get to my friends i had to actually finally look at my people and see okay who really wants a code i was kind of looking out for everybody else and not even running um, remembering my friends but you know since that's passed and that's over with hey enjoy whoever you are uh, i might have another beta code for xbox 360 i might but by the time the end the week ends i should say and um yeah you know what you got to do subscribe you know comment say whatever you want um like if you would like it. if you didn't like it hey you didn't like it i mean you can kiss my ass but you don't have to kiss my ass literally but you didn't like it so i guess you can kiss my ass I don't know. Whatever, man. Y'all be easy.